Now, the former Justice Secretary of the Labour peer, Lord Faulkner, says the party should expel a prominent member who was suspended yesterday. Peter Willsman is accused of saying the Israeli embassy was almost certainly behind complaints of anti-Semitism. Well, let's talk now to Jenny Manson. She's co-chair of Jewish Voice, Jewish Voice of Labour, and she joins us now from King's Lynn. Jenny, thanks very much for being with us on BBC News this morning. Um, you've heard the different criticisms that have been made of Pete Willsman. What do you, what's your response to that? Well, my response, if I may, to what um, uh, Lord Faulkner said is part of my response to what Pete Willsman might have said. There's a very alarming lack of justice in the way that uh, claims of um, anti-Semitism are being dealt with, both by the press and by the public too often. If Pete Wilsman has made statements that people find offensive, that's one thing. There's nothing that he's said that I've heard of that is anti-Semitic. And what should be done instead is if the party wants to investigate uh, what Pete Wilsman said, that should be dealt with as a confidential issue and there should be no commitment to expel anybody until there's been a thorough and fair investigation. As to that particular comment, or perhaps you want to ask me about that in a minute, about Israel, we know that Israel has, has been involved to some extent in, in British politics because of the film made by Al Jazeera in 2016, um, uh, shown in, in early 17, called The Lobby. But that's not unusual. Governments interfere the whole time in other countries' politics. But it's not anti-Semitic to make that claim. Um, what about, uh, it's interesting the point you were making about there should be a proper um, uh, process before somebody is expelled and if Pete Wilson were to be expelled it should be the end of that process and that confidential process should be confidential. Uh, what explanation do you, on the basis of that, do you give them for the decision to expel Alistair Campbell earlier this week? Because that oh. doesn't appear to have been a, to, oh, to have been a, pro, a, a kind of open, transparent process. That's interesting. My guess is that he, he leaked that story so it was confidential. That, that's a very simple and straightforward rule in the Labour Party rule book. You are not supposed to campaign for other political parties. A friend of mine found himself expelled because he'd nominated a Green candidate in a local authority. This is an absolute standard Labour, Labour Party, and I'm sure Conservative and Liberal Democratic Party rule that you can't campaign for another party. Is, Otherwise, is it campaigning for another party to vote for them and then not reveal it publicly until after the poll has happened? My memory is, and I may be wrong, that Alistair Campbell said that he wasn't going to vote Labour before the election. Uh, he, he didn't campaign said, or endorse any other candidate. He, he spoke several times to you on the telly and on the radio, telling us just why it was such a bad time to be voting Labour, just how wrong Labour was getting it and how tempting it was for him to vote Lib Dem. Again, I might be wrong, but that's my own memory. And I think that's what Jeremy Corbyn said yesterday in defence of the um, expulsion. It is, a, I think it's called auto-exclusion. You can't do that. And if he did it, that's an expellable, auto-exclusable... Um, <laughs> Jenny Manson, just very briefly then, in your judgment, unless some new information comes out, there aren't grounds to expel Pete Wilson. I say, I don't, I haven't heard the film, which by the way was leaked, how many months, it was, it was a, a confidential uh, conversation, this seems to be the habit at the moment of people trying to ban the Labour Party and anti-Semitic in January. From what I've heard so far, what he has done is criticised the involvement of the Israeli embassy, which we know about, because of the lobby, in, uh, in Labour Party politics. At party conference in 2016, they were there. We know they were there. People um, uh, influenced by that uh, embassy's decision to try and disrupt the Labour Party. Uh, and of course, it's better that people say things temperately and that they don't ever expect things to be um, off record when they speak. But at the moment, I have no evidence whatsoever that Pete Wilson's an anti semite or a racist in general. I know him uh, slightly only, uh, and I have every confidence that he has absolutely no anti Semitic feelings. Jenny, Mans uh, Jenny Manson, Jewish Voice for Labour uh, Chair, thank you very much for being with us and for being so beautifully framed by a couple of lovely prints. I don't know if they're local to Norfolk, but they're very fine above your head. Yeah, holiday. <laughs> Bye-bye. Thank you, Jenny. Now, around 17...